check if the baggage is okay. Cut the packing belt and the sealing tape. To open the box. Take out the pour over. Take out the accessory case. Remove protection bag. Two people move the headless tester to the horizontal and stable working table together. In the moving process, do not snub the machine or touch important parts of the machine. Open the accessory case to check. Manual book. Dust cover. Micrometer eyepiece. XY testing table. Weight. Headless block. Sheet specimen fixture. Flat fixture. Small pass fixture. Open spanner. Phillips screwdriver. Allen key. Horizontal adjusting screw. Gradient. Power line. Fuse. Sucker. Accessories installation. Move the machine gently. Install the four horizontal adjusting screw into the holes and the machine. Take out the pop plug. Install the micrometer eyepiece. Control rotate the forcing hand wheel to down the lifting shaft. Put XY testing table into the hole of the lifting shaft. Then lock screw to fix testing table. Put gradient on the testing table. Adjust the horizontal adjusting screw to make headless tester to be horizontal. Loose the screws to take out the top cap. Rotate the node selection knob to 10 gram. Take out the foam between the level and the weight. To check if the level head is in the supporting groove, please press here gently. If the level head could up and down normally, it's right. Note, if the level head not in the right position, this would cause the indenter collide the specimen directly to make damage or cause the indenter not work. Put the weight on the weight box from the small to the big. When putting the weight, please do it gently to make no any crash. After putting the weight well, rotate the node selection knob again and again to check if there is friction between the weight and the weight box. Note, for the node selection knob, please rotate to the direction of 25 gram when arriving 10 gram. Please rotate to the direction of 500 gram when arriving 1 kilogram.
install the top cap. Lock the screws. Take out the indenter protection gently. Check if the switch is in the off position. Use the power line to connect the power supply to the headless tester. Test operation. Open the power switch. The headless tester would make the sound like DDD. The main interface would show on the screen. Rotate the node selection knob to choose the suitable force. The force selected will show on the interface. Press the down key to select setup, then press OK to enter the setup interface. Please set the dwell time which 5 to 15 seconds would be suitable, then press OK to confirm. Begin to test. Put the specimen on the center of the XY testing table. Rotate tarot by hand to turn the 40 times objective lens to the center. Now the specimen is under the 40 times objective lens. Clockwise rotate the forcing hand wheel to raise the XY testing table till the specimen is about 0.5 mm from the 40 times objective lens. Rotate the forcing hand wheel gently to make the image very clear. Please avoid the specimen touch the objective lens. When finishing the frosting, the surface texture of specimen can be seen clearly. If necessary, the 10 times objective lens could be turned to the center for frosting, and then use 40 times objective lens to do fine frosting. Rotate tarot by hand to turn the indenter to the center. Press the start and the machine begins to work. The working stages will show on the screen. Many down arrows mean the loading stage. Many short knives mean the dwell stage. Many up arrows mean the uploading stage. Rotate tarot by hand to turn 40 times objective lens to the center. Rotate the eyepiece shade to make the two lines very clear in the eyepiece image. Observe the image and use the frosting wheel to make it clear. Rotate the left thin line setting drum wheel which will move the two lines together until the left line is tangent to the indentation. Then rotate the right drum wheel of the eyepiece to make the right line tangent to the indentation. Look at the reading on the right drum wheel of the eyepiece. The main ruler more than one, so the reading on the main ruler is 100. The main ruler's 9 points to 16 on the vernier, so the reading of the vernier is 16. The summary reading is 100 as 16 equals 100 and 16. Through number keys, input 116 on the D1 blank. Then press OK and the cursor will move to D2 blank automatically. If input wrong number, please press C key to delete before pressing OK. Rotate the eyepiece by 90 degrees. Observe the image and the two lines will be perpendicular to another diagonal of the indentation. Rotate the bow thin line setting drum wheel which will move the two lines together until the bow line is tangent to the indentation. Then rotate the nether drum wheel of the eyepiece to make the nether line tangent to the indentation. 
Look at the reading on the drum wheel of the eyepiece. The main ruler more than one, so the reading on the main ruler is 100. The main ruler's nine points to 16 on the veneer, so the reading of the veneer is 16. A summary reading is 100 and 16 equals 100 and 16. Through number keys, input 116 on the D2 blank, then press OK. Now the hard list result will show on the screen with 440.9 suggesting the hard list of the point. When operating, if you have any questions or problems, please contact us with email sent to info at simro.com.